Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here again at Arapahoe Bar. Uh, today we're going to be checking out the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket and see how it performs here on the river. The water's a little bit high. We had rain for about, like the last two days we had some rain. So I have to get across to the other side. Uh, that way uh, we're following the rules because we're not allowed to prospect on this side. So let's make our way across, find a spot and start digging. How you doing? I'm famous. How you doing? Good to meet you, sir. Not too bad. I just uh, uh, commented on one of your videos. Oh, yeah? Day. Yeah. I just moved here from Kentucky, dude. Your videos taught me just about everything I know about. Not digging in the mud. Seriously, yeah. I found your channel, dude. Good. Yeah, I've been sub for a cool minute now since I, since before I left Kentucky. Right on. Yeah, so, dude, yeah, I can't, I, I told my wife the other day, I said, watch, one of these days we're going to run into Quest. Uh, Here's a pick, man. Wow, dude, that's awesome. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I know about Big Bend until I watched Did you find video. the poop shack? I saw the TV. <clears throat> I was joking with her. I told the water's a lot deeper than it was the last time I was here. That is a big deep pit right there. I have my wallet in my pocket, so I don't want to fall in there. All right. I think we're going to go down this way just a bit. Maybe down to, uh, to that bank over there. I don't know. We'll find a spot. So right there in the middle, it looks like there's a nice gravel bar. I think we're gonna head over to that and we'll just work there today. If I can get over there in one piece. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the far end of this gravel bar here. This gravel bar goes all the way up and I guess it kind of ends somewhere. But yeah, it's a good spot. We're not on the, the trail side, so we're good to go. We're all legal. Check this out right here. Big rocks stuck in there, all that. That can all be panned. So I think we're gonna set up shop right about here and see what we can find. All right, so here it is out on the river. Yeah, basically I have everything in here that comes with it. The only thing I'm bringing, other than the kit itself, is my good shovel. And I have my own snuffer bottle that I use all the time anyway. And there is a snuffer bottle that comes with this. All right, so let's get it set up and start scooping some dirt in. Yeah, this thing is really cool because it's so compact. It's basically just a bucket. When you transport this around, it's the same as carrying one bucket. Very nice. And that's it. It's ready to go. Also, this here could be used as a seat. It looks really comfortable. So in the instructions, it does say to use like a handful of marble-sized rocks. So let's grab some of these. And we'll just throw them in here. Uh, that's supposed to keep the gold from blowing out. It's supposed to like trap your gold a little bit better. So we'll start off with that. Just just since the instructions tell us to put that right in there like that put in this weird piece small classifier large classifier let's run some water through it all right let's start shoveling
Lots of quartz. No nuggets, not yet. Check out that nice piece right there. A lot of gold colored mica in there. And you know it's not gold because gold shines. One way of knowing if you have gold or mica, if you're not sure, uh, if it shines, and there's no sun, then you got gold. But if it, you can see here, as soon as I put the shadow on it, it stops sparkling. So you know it's mica. It doesn't mean that there's not possibly gold in this rock, because there certainly could be. This is really mineralized. Gold does like to travel with pyrite and mica and stuff like that. But yeah, I just thought I would say that. Okay, so what I've noticed is you can put about two shovelfuls in. Uh, any more than that, it makes it really, really difficult to classify. And you got to make sure you fill it up with water each time you do it. Basically, pick off the big rocks and we'll throw them out. You make sure there's some water in there covering all of your material. And you shake it out. And that's pretty much it. Then you check for nuggets. Check the second classifier as well. No nuggets. So one important thing to note, I think, would be that if you're going to use this Gold Rush Nugget Bucket, make sure that you have a nice area to pick water up from. Uh, if you're next to a really shallow area, it's not going to, it's going to be a pain because you have to make sure that this is constantly, you have to constantly dump water into here, otherwise you're not going to be able to classify your material. On the other hand, the regular way with a regular bucket and classifier, you dump your raw material in, you dump a little bit of water in on top of it, you shake it out, and then you dump out your, your gravel and everything, your tailings, and then you can do it again. You don't have to keep dumping water in there. That's the only thing so far that makes this seem like it's a little bit of a pain. But at the same time, this thing is, it's excluding the need for a sluice box because you can run, like I said, you could run a couple buckets through here and down in here, all your concentrates are gonna build up just like they would in a sluice box. And you don't have to, you know, break apart and clean out your sluice box. All you have is a bucket. So that's really good. That's pretty much the whole process. Two scoops, about three buckets of water. and then shake it around. Move the big rocks off and shake it around. And another bucket of water. You gotta make sure that water levels up above so all the fines will go through. Yeah, I think this is actually faster than having a sluice box. Because with a sluice, you would be doing this anyway into a bucket before you bring it to your sluice box and then scooping it into the sluice box scoop by scoop. Right here, all you do is classify it and you're done. 
then all we have to do is pan at the end. So I have about, I would say, well, it's impossible to say how much I actually ran through here. But looking at the size of the gap that I dug back in the river here, I would say probably two or three buckets. So let's go ahead and clean out this bottom classifier. Look for any nuggets and then we'll, uh, we'll pan out what we have and see what we got. Just pull that out. This is our concentrates. All right, let's pan it out. Let's use this little pan here that they gave us. Okay. So we got our pan here. Concentrates. There we go. All right. All right, now we just pan it down. I don't know how these bigger rocks got in there. Oh, those are the marble sized rocks I threw in there to begin with. I did not bring a small classifier with me yet. Yeah, a 20 or 30 mesh classifier would really help because these bigger ones, I mean, they're gonna float off anyway, but when we get down to the black sands, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, we're down to the black sands. We'll spin this little pan around and go for the small riffles now. A lot of garnets I can see in there. See all that little red, red dots? That's all little garnets. Here's the bigger rocks I was talking about. We'll have to take those out by hand. Just wash the blonde sands off the top. Let's pick these bigger rocks out. I guess we'll spin it around here. I'm not used to this little tiny pan, but let's give it a try. Tons of garnet, lots of black sand. I see some gold up here. Little flake. Another flake of gold. Another one. Let's clean it up um, the right way, and then I'll show you what we got out of two or three buckets. All right, so we're slowly spinning this water around, washing that black sand down from the top to the bottom, very slowly. And as I see little flakes of gold, I'll pick them up with my snuffer bottle here. And that'll save us a lot of time because trying to separate the black sand from the gold is pretty tedious. Yeah, there's another piece right there. All right, so we collected most of that up. Let's see what we were able to collect up in the snuffer bottle here. All right, there you can see it. A couple pieces of gold here, just a couple flakes. And really, man, we were only out here for maybe 10 minutes. It did not take long at all to get these little flakes of gold. So let's suck those up. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there you go. The Gold Rush Nugget Bucket out here on the river. I think it's awesome. Um, if anybody can tell me why this is won't replace a sluice box, please let me know in the comments. It just makes more sense to use this. I don't know. It seemed like, honestly, when I first heard about it and looked at it, I thought it was like a toy because it was showing little kids using it and everything. And yes, little kids can use it, but it's, I mean, it's cutting out the need for a sluice box. As far as I can tell, um, please, somebody let me know in the comments why this thing is no worse or better than a sluice box itself because i can't think of one it just cuts out that whole step of scooping it in and you know what i mean um however i am still kind of old school i just enjoy using a sluice box it's kind of fun to set it up and sit down because with this there's no sitting down 
you're pretty much always, you know, you're always scooping dirt in, you're always dumping water, you're always moving around. At least with the sluice box, you get to take a break. You know, you classify your material and then you bring it over and you slowly scoop it in and then you get to sit on a bucket for, you know, 20 minutes or however long it takes. Also, real big shout out to David Tynesvold, a new Major Credit Patreon supporter. Thank you very much, David. Uh, you and your son, I know you watch my videos. You sent me that message. That's really cool how um, that you like to watch my videos and you know you wanted to support the channel so i really appreciate that and the money will go right back into the channel just as all patreon money does um if you don't know how the patreon works it's basically a one dollar a month donation there's a link in the description and with that one dollar a month you can watch unreleased videos like when i went to Loch Ness and some like you know uh some blast from the past videos and stuff like that like going to band practice and all that for five bucks a month you can watch videos the night that i upload them to youtube which is the same night that i shoot the video so tonight when i get home i'm going to take this video i'm going to edit it i'm going to upload it to youtube and then post it directly to patreon where i was on youtube you guys won't see it for three days because i always space it three days apart then of course the $20 Patreon supporters, the major credit guys, they get a shout out like this and their credits at the end of the video. So again, thanks a lot, David Tynesvold. Appreciate it very much. You and your son. All right, let's get out of here. It's hot out today, that water feels awesome. Whoa. Yeah, another cool thing is this Gold Rush Nugget bucket only takes it took me 20 seconds to break it down and and uh, pack it up, and it's the size of a bucket. It's awesome. Oh, I forgot my shovel, didn't I? All right, so anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got a new video coming out every three days. If you're interested in the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket, there's a link in the description along with some of the other gear that I use. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.